All right. So. Uh, gentlemen and ladies, I want you to dig in and focus. Okay. Let's get through the intro pretty quickly. Um, once we're done with the intro, we will um, get right on. So yesterday, we were spinning this around. We were spinning this around, and did you guys spin these yesterday? No. no. Did you feel these? Yeah, I just spun right? Well, listen, if you didn't feel it yesterday, try to feel it. Feel what? So when you spin this around, you are feeling the force that you apply on the string because the string applies that back on you. Right? So when I spin this, you get a sense of how much force the string is applying on the stopper. Right? You can actually feel that, true? Okay? So, if I'm spinning it slow or I'm spinning it fast, do you think those feel different? Yeah. Okay? So the question we were exploring yesterday is what are some of the factors that we think might affect, hold that door close, please. What are some factors that we think might affect the amount of force? Okay. What's one? On the thing? Yeah. Gravity. Speed? Okay. Speed? Gravity. So when I spin this around, okay. When I spin this around, do you think if I spin it faster it feels different than if I spin it slower? Yes. Okay. Do you think more speed is more force or more speed is less force? Speed more force. You think more speed, more force? Correct. Maybe. Okay. The length of the string. Do you think the length of the string matters? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if I pull this in. I mean, it feels a lot different. Yep. Yeah. If I pull this in, do you think that the length of the string matters? Yes. Yeah. Now, if you look at this, though, what is the length of the string in terms of the circle that it's making? Smaller, Smaller. circle. Smaller circle, right? What is the length of the string in terms of a circle measurement? Circle. Oh. No, radius. Yeah. It is, right? So do you think the radius might make a difference? Are we supposed to be writing this down? Of yeah. course. Okay. And what's one more thing that might affect it? Like the mass of the... Is that thing? What can I remember? Okay. Found what? Spider-Man gum. Spider-Man gum? Um, if you have to spin around a different mass, do you think it's gonna feel different? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. What does your gut tell you? The more mass, the more force. More mass, more force. Yeah. More force. Well, yeah. more force needed to like keep it going. Right. I mean, that is it, right? Like, you are applying a force toward the center that's changing its direction, yeah? So, if you got to move more mass, and more mass is more resistance to change. Okay. Yeah, we're wondering what effect each of these has on the force. Okay. We're wondering what um, effect each of these has on the force. Does the, um, if you spin it like down or like up, is that, is that? So this is actually a little bit slightly different because if you keep the speed the same, the force changes. Um, and this actually you can feel. Like if you spin this like this, these are around and you can spin them. There's actually, it feels there's more force at the bottom than the top. That's actually something you can feel. Okay? If you spin it like this, the force is relatively the same as long as you're speeding, uh, going at the same speed. Is that cool? Uh -huh. So here's what we're going to do. All right, so these are factors that affect the force. So what are the units for each of these? When we talk about force, what do we measure forces in? What are the units? Newtons. Newtons. What about speed? Meters per second. Uh, radius measures is measured in? Meters. Meters. And mass is measured in? Kilograms. These units are going to be important for us coming up. Oof. A little tired here. 
Coffee. I got some coffee. It's just it was kicked in yet. I saw a cute meme yesterday that said, removing caffeine from your diet can remove up to 60% of your uh, joy for life. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's huge. Yeah, that's really normal. But removing caffeine from your diet is probably a good thing. Never. Don't even say anything like that. It's probably adds a few years onto your life. Alright. So, this lab. This lab is actually this lab is actually pretty challenging because we don't have a good or easy way we don't have a good or easy way to spin this around and measure the force. I've been trying for 20 years to, to come up with a decent a decent way to do this. Like, um, so I bought a I bought a fancy apparatus to do it for us. Apparatus. Oh, are you What's an apparatus? That thing right there. Okay. It's it's the green spinny thing. And what yeah, what the green spinny thing allows us to do is to set a radius, set a mass, and then change the speed and measure the force. Okay. Wait, it'll spin that thing? No, it, it spins its own stuff. You'll see. It's actually very cool. Okay. So what we're gonna do is each lab group, all right, each lab group is going to come up, we're going to set a radius, we're gonna set a mass. We're going to spin it and we're going to take speed and force data. Is that cool? Mm -hmm. So today's lab, okay, today's lab is going to be a measurement of Okay? So what is the relationship between the speed and the force, okay? And this is the force necessary to keep it moving in a circle. So your data table is going to look like this, where you're changing the speed, and then you're measuring the force, okay? And then you're going to graph speed down here in meters per second, and force over here in newtons, okay? And then we're going to analyze. So this is what I expect from you today. Um, this is a little bit of a, a slow lab, there's a little bit of a lag here because I only have one apparatus and so each group is going to have to get their data from me. It takes about two minutes to get the data from me, but if you're like lab group number, you know, the, the sixth lab group, it's going to be about ten minutes until you can get your data. So there's a little bit of downtime, it's not my thing. Um, if you could do me a favor though and just leave your phones in your bags. I'm having one of those days where um, the phones are getting to me. So if you could just leave them in your bag, you can talk to your neighbors and see how they're doing. Those seem like those seem like more appropriate things to do. Okay. Checkup question? What? Checkup question? A check -up question? Well, I want to, you guys are still a little bit behind. If we can catch up today, we can do a check-in tomorrow. But. Well, I feel like we're pretty caught up. No, every, the other groups have already done the lab, man. Well, well, they're class, they're class class we also did the planetarium, so that puts us like a step I'm definitely not. That is not my thing. We're definitely a step ahead because we know we know more than that. Yeah, now we know what the big difference is. So. Listen, man, you got a baby tomato. We talked about dinosaurs and evolution. Yeah, yeah. we're yeah. 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 so talking about the big thing. You, you, uh, you got to catch up. Tomato. Uh, Pop tomato, mama tomato, baby tomato walking down the road. What? Baby tomato gets tired, starts lagging behind. Papa tomato gets mad, goes back, squishes him, and says, "Catch up." Why is he squishing? All right. So let's uh, let me give you a description of the thing. So gather around so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 o
I feel like I'm in Mexico. They all scream hola at you. I'm not used to hearing Spanish. So. Alright, so. It's like a cultural shock. Yeah, it's like, well, what's your shock? It's not even spoken. It's not even heard. There it is. Huh? Anyway, um, so here's where we are. Let me explain the apparatus real quick. It's does it, this is what films it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, you know those old, those old cameras from the Ready? <laughs> so here, this side, I'm going to set. I want it to be balanced on both sides. So I'm going to put, this, they're called carriages. I'm going to put the carriage on this side. And then I'm going to put the carriage on this side so that they're at the same distance. Now, this one is free to slide. Now, we know there's no outward forces. We talked about this yesterday, but if I spin this, you can see that relative to the thing, it slides out. Now, I know it slides along the rail, but it's always trying, okay? It's an object of motion which stays in straight motion. But if its motion is straight this way, it can't go that way, but there's a component of that direction along here. So as this spins, you'll notice it'll go outward until the string catches it and does what? Pulls it in. And so if we watch this little carriage right here, if I spin it, that string, the little green string, is pulling it in. Does that make sense? Now look at the green string. It's attached along here to this, to the force sensor. So it literally measures the force inward on this little carriage by the string, which I think is pretty awesome. Okay. So another part of this that's really cool is over here on this side, there's a little sensor right here, and it's got a light that goes between the two the two posts here. Um, you'll notice that when you get up here, there's holes here, and it knows how wide the holes are. So when I spin it, it knows when it's blocked and when it's not blocked, or for how long it's blocked or not blocked. And what it does from that is if it knows the time that it's blocked and the distance over which it's blocked, if you know distance and time, it'll tell you the speed at which it's spinning. So you know the speed and the force, which I think is like the coolest thing. Sound good? Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to, each group is going to set a radius. All right, there's little masses that fit in the, in the, in the carriages, which is awesome. So each group is going to get a different radius and a different mass. And then here's how this works. Can we get it going? Okay, and you can see on the, on the screen that there's four. So how can we tell what speed we're going at? It's good. It's going to tell you. It's slowing down. It is, and that's the thing that's really cool and important about it, is if you watch the data, you can see the top one is the force data, and it's decreasing over time, but the bottom was, is the speed data, and it's also decreasing over time. What this actually means is um, less speed requires less force, right? That makes a lot of sense. And so we're going to use the data table, and we're going to pick data points off the data table as speed and force, and you're going to graph those and see if there's a relationship between those two things. So the slowing down is cool because it allows us to get multiple data points. Sound good? All right, so I don't, we can just work in the same group. That's fine with me because I don't feel like going and changing. So um, go to your lab stations right now, and I'm going to call you up and give you the data.